Hello! Welcome. Hi. Hi, it's Tuesday. Here we are. It's Jackbox time. We haven't boxed any jacks in quite a while. Uh, yes. This is it's Jackbox Party Pack 9, no less. Specifically, which isn't yeah. isn't even properly out yet. So thanks yeah, to the good folks at Jackbox for letting us play their games and get mm. our sticky fingers all over them yeah. early. Oh, oh yeah. Fibbage. What is Fibbage, Andy? It's like a cabbage, but it's more <laughs> fibrous. Mm, that it. sounds disgusting. What else yeah. is Fibbage, Andy? Uh, it's uh, one of those uh, lying games, isn't it? Oh, okay. That lion. In... Now, I'm a yeah, terrible liar, in... is the problem. So... What's your tell? Um, How I... do we know you're Sweating, lying? Sweating, uh, convulsing. <laughs> yeah, um, vomiting. Darting eyes. Um, yeah. Nosebleeds. Yeah, hair falls out and yeah. your <laughs> nose falls off. <laughs> yeah. So Mike's going to be in a bad way. <laughs> by he has to bluff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, um, we're not starting, though, until we get some more people in the audience, that's for sure. And, and if you likes. want to vote on who is the best liar, you need to go to jackbox.tv for your voting rights and enter the room code XEDH. That's XEDH, the handy acronym to remember that Ooh. is. Uh, uh, Andy, help. Uh, okay. Extra it's eggs down here. Extreme, extreme. Uh, uh-huh. One with an X, one with an Dextreme, E. Extreme, yeah. extreme. Yeah, Hextreme, yeah. <laughs> Hextreme, Hextreme. Ooh, I Since love it. Since remember it that way. <laughs> I feel like Hextreme is the ultimate title for our Hello Stream. Yeah, that's what we're going to change it to when Disney, yeah. Disney games. like, take the yeah. term Hello Stream off us. The Disney. Uh, we had it first. Yeah, we did. We it. had it first. We had it first, Disney. Check the internet. The internet knows. I can't believe Disney Plus is doing this to me after all I've Could done for them. For $8 billion. Yeah. I feel like we have probably got the legal wherewithal to sue Disney. Yeah, I'm sure they don't have that. Great. I'm sure their lawyers... Famously really chill yeah. edifice of Disney. Hi, everybody in the chat, by the way. We're sort of talking about Hello Stream, which we've been thinking a lot about lately, given that it's almost October. And he's and been thinking about it all year. October, yes. Mm. The last two weeks of October are traditionally our Hello Stream season of streaming mm. scary games. Mm. We've got cool new art you can check out on our merch oh, page. Yeah. Go to store.outsidexbox.com. Get in on the ground the cool floor yeah. for the cool new Hello, Hello what Stream. What are we getting stuff. our ones of those? I don't know. I don't know. In time for Hello Stream, yeah. If you go to store.outsidexbox.com, you can check out our Hello Stream art for this year, and it's very cool. Andy, um, Andy led the charge on it. It is inspired mm. by uh, vintage horror comics, right? Vintage horror comics. Yeah, the old EC horror comics from the 1950s. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many people have we got? We have got 231 likes. We've got 1,200 people watching, That's and in the enough. room we've got 372 people. Can we get a like spike, an unearned preemptive Tuesday afternoon like Surely. spike to see us on our way? It's all we want. It's all we ask. Oh no, Andy's camera's turned Sorry, off. My, my camera looked a bit blurry, so I was just seeing if there was something on the lens. Vaseline on the lens to make Andy mm. even more Soft beautiful. focus. Yes. Yeah. Like a yeah. TV soft, movie. soft focus filter. I haven't got a filter. <laughs> Uh, Swift Index in the chat says it's Jackbox Party Pack time. Thanks for all the great content you make. Mm. That's us. Tom Titherington says can't wait to watch this later on. You guys are lovely, and that is no lie. Aha. Oh, okay. There is a tip from someone in the <laughs> audience. He says disable your VPN if you have one. NordVPN blocks joining of the game. So, oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right, fine. Which of you um, are watching us on a VPN? I wonder. In the uh, OX Supporters Club on Patreon, we've got a yes. bunch of people watching. Thanks for joining. A um, lot of good gifts going on. Uh, <laughs> Rivera Kid says, I'm sure suing Disney could only go well. That's good. <laughs> uh, BMD Nerd says, James shirt and hair are on fire. Oh, no, wait, are, are fire. <laughs> <laughs> they are fire, not on Lightly fire. Lightly smoking. Mm. That's good. Uh, very flammable um, with the amount of hairspray I've got on. So. <laughs> That's true. Could At any point during this stream, James could go up like a tinderbox. With I could keep watching. my key lights, you it know could our, happen. You know our hype meter stream, I could probably put the flames from that on your head. Ah, let's do it. It <laughs> could be like a, um, a ghost rider. Maybe as a treat later on in the stream. I'll see if flames. I can do it. Anyway, we've got 559 likes, which is more than I need. That's enough. Let's go. To then. do a stream. Great. Shall we do let's a stream? Fine. Yeah, yes. let's go. Let's start. If you're not joining the audience, if you're not already in the audience, you can join as we play. Uh, the room code should be on the screen as well. Okay. Welcome, I'm Cookie Master. Oh, Cookie, Cookie Master sent this back. Great news. The game where we encourage you to lie, unlike my bathroom mirror, which never lies. 
What does he okay. mean by that? I don't know. Just that he looks ugly. Is that, part of is that the what he's saying? Of life. I'm, I'm enjoying the sort of, and like, watching, museum aesthetic. It's like the cabinet's uh, curiosity yeah. cabinet sort of creatures there. Mm. We've got a winged a toad. I'm a moth crab. Moth crab and a skeleton with eyes in it. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> uh, okay. All right, you've got to... Oh, okay. 500 points for every player that you fool in round one. Okay. Mm. 1,000 for finding the truth. Okay. Are you good at finding the truth, Jane? Always. Oh, it's me. Oh, choose oh, wow. a category. Oh wow. oh, wow. Look at the... Ah, these categories are so cool. Such good categories. Monster right. photos. I've chosen one. Spirituality. Yeah, I'm a very spiritual person. That's a lie. A neo pagan church okay. called the Church of the Most High Goddess was founded in California. Church of the Most the High Goddess. Its congregants practice. consider such now, and such a sacred practice. Device, okay. Now I have to come up with a convincing, plausible <laughs> thingy. Oh, okay. Hmm. Except here's something that's fun. Oh, I get oh, to okay, do it. Ah. Right, I am ready. No, you. I don't think you get to do it this time. No, we do. Oh, you do? Oh, we yeah. all get to do it. Oh, okay. I just get to pick the, the category. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we've got to figure out which are the real, which is the real answer. Yep. And which are made up. Okay. I like this because presumably we will learn something as well. These are your choices. Take your best oh, okay. guess the truth and select it on your device. Huh. So the, we've got sex work, the singer Madonna, hairbrushing, aerobics, or breastfeeding. You'd have a hard time considering the singer Madonna a sacred practice as opposed to a sacred... Person. That's true. Um, so I guess the audience get to pick their... Their most likely, mm. uh, likely true thing. Uh, Let's see how it shook right. out. Okay, we're all getting warmed up. I put the singer Madonna. Oh, you did. Okay, that was my oh. life. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, gotcha. Roasted and toasted. Okay, that was me. Oh, oh, good one. Such a brilliant <laughs> liar. And is okay. it right? Is it right? Is it is the truth? Hey, oh, Jane. Yes. Jane knew it. All right, I'm the well, best at lies and truth. You absolutely and roasted truth. us then that one, didn't you? Roasted and toasted. Yeah. Damn. My lie was aerobics. I thought it was totally plausible. Well, I gave it a like. Oh, thanks. As you can see there, a little thumbs up. <laughs> I just imagine, you know, that like uh, that okay. aerobics competition intro where they all do the dancing. And I they did say so 1989, yeah. so there would have been a lot of aerobics around at the time. That's what all right, I Mike gets to choose the like category now. Like Madonna was around at the time, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Madonna was also around at the time. Yeah, that's why I did it. Hmm. <laughs> all right, what have you chosen, Mike? I chose trapped. Right, trapped! Sounded Exclamation weirdly mark. threatening, Man. but not as threatening as trapped. Abstract Asparagus in the, in the Discord says, Tricked and fooled by Jane. Tricked and fooled. I know the answer to this one. All right, due to a freak autumn snowstorm in 2021, patrons and employees of Britain's highest altitude pub found themselves snowed in with blank for three days. Hmm. Okay. Um... Snowed in with. Mm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, How hmm. long have we got to enter a really good lie here? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes, I think that will do. That will do nicely. Okay. I've done a thing. Okay. I've done one. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> right, find the truth. Okay. Due to a freak autumn snowstorm in 2021. That was so recent. Patrons and employees of Britain's highest altitude pub found themselves snowed in with what for three days? Ah, 80 pounds of sausage, Ewan McGregor, Carscale, a plate, a crate of live crabs, an Oasis cover band. <laughs> I, I saw this story, so right, I know exactly what it is. What? So recent and local. <laughs> oh, it's okay. not sausage, is it? <laughs> oh, the audience is. Oh, the audience is. You fooled Jane. No, audience oh. lie. Whoa, you got me good, audience. <laughs> oh, Mike's lie. Ewan McGregor. I feel like we'd have heard about that. 
Um, is it, this is, is it an truth? Oasis cover band? It is. No hey! Story. Hey! Story. Nice. I didn't think Oasis was a pull either of you would make. No, yeah, no, it wasn't. That's true. But if you can think uh, of anything worse to be trapped in uh, uh, with for three days, yeah, you know, that's true. God, because... can you imagine? Mm. Wonderwall, non-stop. Endless like, Wonderwall. Like yeah. Like the, every Absolute single house nightmare. party in the late 90s. And everything. You'd, you'd assume that you hadn't survived the snowstorm. <laughs> <Yeah. and laughs> You're trapped in purgatory. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay. In a letter to the Royal Academy okay, in a letter to the Royal Academy in 1781, Benjamin Franklin urged royal scientists to take up the goal of somehow improving blank. Okay. All right. Okay. Type in your lies. This is a history thing. You know history, Andy. Yeah. What was the... But this was after independence, right? Was it? <laughs> so why is he yeah. writing to the yeah, Royal Academy? Why is he writing Academy? to the Royal Scientists? He'd be like, get off. <laughs> Go make your own academy. Yeah. Mm. Um. <laughs> to take up the goal of somehow improving the monarchy. <laughs> um. Honestly, get independence, and then they're like, "Oh, royal scientists, help us out." <laughs> Who are we waiting for? That's oh, James crafting oh, it's the James. ultimate Sorry. lie. It's all right. Crafting it. Yeah. I was crafting it. Now, which one's the truth? <laughs> okay. Okay. Quite a range. That is, yeah. <laughs> that is. I think, yeah. Okay, I've got a. I've, I can make a guess on this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. I've guessed, but I've no idea. What like what knowing what Benjamin Franklin was like. <laughs> I think. Yes, I got. Okay, you got the audience. You got over right. half the audience. It's me versus the audience is the true battle here today. Yeah, populations. Was it dear po oh, 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 the audience again, whoa, you fools! How is the audience so good you at this? You for it. Whoa, audience. It's got to be this, right? It's Ben Franklin. He's, he's always gross. And <laughs> yes, it is! He's he's so <laughs> gross about stuff. <laughs> His essay entitled The Letter to... His answer was farts. And <laughs> it was called Natural farts discharges proudly, is a win from our bodies. Not only oh, he wanted a cure for farts. We wanted he to wanted make them the smell Royal Academy nice. to come up with a, a good a smelling of... fart. No, he wanted to make them louder. The answer... <laughs> <laughs> the answer is just improve your diet, I guess. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Ben. Wow. All right. The audience is incredulous at Ben Franklin. <laughs> yeah. Man, the audience is doing well. Oh, my. Wow, look at these fish. They're having a great time. They're just... It's oh, man. They're going for it. They're so comfortable in those <laughs> yeah. slouchy pants. Oh, the stakes are getting high. That was just right. a warm-up. Okay. Andy category. Oh, I get to choose a category. Cool. Yeah, you do. Oh, damn. Dang, tarot deck, psychic well, powers, role-playing. Yeah. All of your favourite things, Andy. Mm. Yeah. Now listen up. All right, role playing. A Facebook role playing group called A Group Where We All Pretend to Be Blank in Blank reached nearly 1.7 million members in 2020. Wow. 1.7 million members in 2020. Submit your We all pretend to be blank in blank. Could it be? Sheesh. Where? What do 1.7 million people want to pretend to be on Facebook? Don't know. And in 2020, what kind of people were still on Facebook? Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to really struggle with this one, I think. It's tough. It is tough. 1.7 million members. Okay, which one's true? Huh. Okay. Oh. You can't all pretend to be Legolas. All right, 1.7 million people can't all role-play Legolas. Some of you have to be Frodo. <laughs> some of you have to be Pippin. One of you has to be Gandalf. By the same logic, you can't all pretend to be Harry Styles in One Direction because there's only one Harry Styles. There's only one Harry Styles. But he's the one that everyone wants to be. Members Actually, in that's one not direction. true. I'd rather be Zayn right. Malik. Okay. Oh, I need to pick an answer. I picked one. Let's Just see. in okay. time. 
Yeah. Hey, that was good, Jane. That was yeah. convincing. Is it Anson and Aunt Cody? It is. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, wow, it is. what is that role play like? I yeah, smell a chemical that suggests yeah, food is in this let's direction. Bump heads no together. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> no talk anywhere for Queen. Amazing. Wow. Very strange. I'm going to join that group right now. Yeah. Can we oh, turn no, into wait. some sort of... I need to remember my Facebook mm -hmm. password. I'm not doing that. TTRPG. Yeah. I've got something here I know you haven't oh, seen. Oh, wow. All right. If you want to join, by the way, and play along yes. at home, you can. Go to Jackbox. You mean this game, not the Ant Colony. Yeah. yeah. If you want to beat us at lying, go to jackbox.tv into the room code XEDH. Mm. If you want to be an ant in a role-playing game colony, then go to Facebook and search that up for us. Let us know how it's going. <laughs> the audience is doing pretty well. They might win. So. Yeah, that's true. But if you want to be part of the winning team, then you need to join the audience. Out of here. What's, what's going on here? What's going on? It's become a movie. In there. You'll never sell Curtis back his own machine, I won't let you. Oh! Oh! Crash. Damn. Damn. Game's become a movie. I oh, I like this like much better. Care, but this this film features oh. gangsters kidnapping, kidnapping scientists who are trying to invent what? Trying to invent blank. Okay. Write your lies now. Okay. <laughs> Octo Chan in the chat said, role plays, I touch things with my antennae. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Spiel no. Builder says lift and bite. So I think they're turning the chat into a sort of ant role playing game mm -hmm. now. Um. I like th I like this one. Time to a <laughs> better way of farting, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Callbacks can't be like I mean callbacks can't be the truth, can they? No. Mm. <laughs> Moments. Imagine truth. if it was though. Yeah. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is it a robot? Well, no! Oh, no. no. Ay, that was like that was so convincing. Well done. Just okay. vague enough to be convincing. I got you, Andy. Oh, got I got me. you again. Got me again. You're always my lying to me. My super bomb. Yeah, I'm always lying to you. <laughs> is it the hard audience one? is like no. Whoa. Audience. No, Mike. Is it actually a better Bamboozled. way of farting? Not your best broadcast word. television. Looks like a camera to me. What do gangsters want with broadcast television? Is it that they they don't want broadcast television crowding out the motion picture business, perhaps? I don't know. Or they want to broadcast their gangster propaganda. Yeah. They're like, listen, see, Mugsy, you come around okay. here, you get plugged. So it wasn't a better way of farting. No, it was not. Yeah. Now, I knew I wouldn't get any points from that, but I did. it did amuse me. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's valid. Yeah. But it's a high stakes right, round to be uh, mm. to be playing that to game. To be doing it for the lols. Oh, is it me? Wacky Victorians. Oh, I love Wacky Victorians. All right, let's see what these Wacky Victorians are up to. Victorians were briefly infatuated with Terradomania, which was an all-consuming craze for... Mm. Okay, enter those lies. Uh, pterodactyls? Just... <laughs> what the hell? Say it! I mean, write it, don't say it! <laughs> <laughs> um... But what does, ter what does pterodactyl mean? Andy did Latin, means... so he's got an inherent advantage. Terrible lizard bird. Oh yeah, that's true. Um... What's with your little skull guy, Andy? He's just he um, surprised. <laughs> amazed by everything he sees. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Cara Dennison says Victorians were absolute meme lords. <laughs> Way yeah. ahead of their time. Okay, these are the choices. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Terradomania. Wait and see. Oh, what was that? Do you remember that person who died because they jumped off, jumped off the, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower in a cell yeah. wingsuit? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Could uh, be wingsuits. Right. So that's my answer then. Large sleeves, fortune telling. I mean, they did love fortune telling. Yeah, they were always having seances as well, weren't they? <laughs> wow. 
Let's see what everybody picked. All right. Is it large sleeves? <laughs> no. Oh. no. Mike Sly. Huh. Well, no, I Wing don't know. seats. Mike went for it. Ah, oh, it does. I thought I had to. I just yes. had to. Okay. What is it then? Is it fortune telling? Twenty-six percent of the audience. Painting in public. I think it's. I think it's ferns because ferns are terrified, aren't they? Oh, is that right? Yeah. I did not know that. I, I was know. guessing. Yay! Guessing! Guessing! So a pterodactyl yeah, is just a flying sing. fern, is that what we're saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. It's Tero, not Terry. Oh, what's the difference? I don't know, it's Latin. <laughs> oh, you know how the P-T-E-R at the end of helicopter is like the part of that word? Is it? Yeah, so helicopter is made up of helico Welcome and then the pater rather than <laughs> tele rather than tele <laughs> and, and copter <laughs> it does feel like copter should be the second part of that word doesn't it yeah man I'm not i guess it probably means it. like a, a a sort of i don't know curved frond type thing maybe as an odd side hustle happy hound's dog cologne was released in 2022 by whoa there's two whoa so what? we have to wait Crossing the streams. In 2017, two LA cops are recorded ignoring a robbery and instead discussing blank. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you have to come up with an answer that fits both questions. Interesting. Whoa. Alright. I can do this, I think. As an odd side hustle, Happy Hound's Dog Cologne was released in 2022 by... Uh, okay. Okay. Tricky. Tricky. Just need Mike. Sanif Slav in the chat says, Pater is Greek for wing. Questions have two different truths. First, let's take care of this one. Find the truth for just <laughs> this okay. question. One at a time. We've got two Baja men and they're spelled differently, so one of them is wrong. <laughs> Definitely. But does that mean one of them is right? Definitely. Hmm. Uh, um. I'm stumped. Hmm. I don't even know which is the right spelling of the Baja men. <laughs> Yeah. Time Pokemon Go did release one. a cologne. Select the truth for just this question now. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Oh, I think I picked the right answer for the. For, okay. Hmm. I'm hedging my bet. I'm just picking the same one for both. <laughs> Happy Hounds Dog Cologne. Is it a? It's a song. I mean, it's a side hustle, so... Oh, okay, so the, there are different answers for both questions. Okay. Yeah. We do. Right, yeah, got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Got got it. Got it. I have... All right. <laughs> I, spelt it. I think I spelt it wrong. You I spelt it, it wrong. It's not it with wrong. a J. I Sorry. thought it was with a J. I can't believe you got points for spelling the Baja man wrong. <laughs> Jane got me from double deception. Yeah, double deception. Sorry, I gave Pitbull all of those points to Jane. Pitbull is such a convincing Jane. answer. Yeah. I can imagine Pitbull releasing a, a cologne. Oh, it's Happy Hound's dog cologne. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh right. I thought it was a song yes. called Happy Hound's dog cologne. The truth is Pokemon Go for oh. the cops. Right. Andy put the Queen of England. Yeah, for the for the cologne. Uh, yes. If no. anyone's going to release a dog cologne, it's going to be no. I'm so confused right now. One of her last acts as queen yeah. was, was to release a dog a cologne. Her yeah, that's what her legacy it. is intact. The, Thank the you, The strain Mom. of bringing it to I can't or believe inhalation. I should have those points that Mike got because I spelled Baja men correctly. Yeah, you did, and you got the Happy Hands dog cologne released by the Queen. This is outrageous. <laughs> Just because Jane is illiterate on the topic of yeah. the Baja men, <laughs> I don't see why I should suffer. Well, well done, Jane. You absolutely yes. wow. You absolutely, my game. <laughs> absolutely tonked us. Yes, I'm so good at plausible lying. I feel like I've really, 
uh, really told on myself with this game. Yeah. Uh, now you'll never trust anything I ever say ever again. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, you know when Jane is like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come out. I've, something's come up. Mm. Yeah. And it sounds convincing. It sounds very convincing. But she's yeah. just watching Netflix in her Now DJs. you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I probably would say I got the I can't come out for this world. Um, <laughs> I got oh, that's the TPO for this Aww. world. Because uh, you got, you got <laughs> fooled so much. <laughs> and I got Miss Congeniality. I'm doing quite well, oh, actually. Wow, okay. Sound oh. positive. How are you feeling about playing again? Same players? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Why not? Yes, please. Let's see what's going on. Octo-chan says, luck. it's not a stream until Andy is outraged. <laughs> Well, guess what? Well, here we are. Uh, it's I'm outraged. Now. Does this Fibbage 4 look like Far Cry 4's like, type yes, of thing? <laughs> it does, <laughs> actually, yeah. Cat like Farmer says, you know the economy's tough when Let's even the Queen needs beer money. Where she's got her side <laughs> hustle. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. And I I'm going to look at like the it. happy oh, hounds. Else can join I'm not sure how I feel about the being extremely credulous and also extremely bad at life. It's a bad combination. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to make it gonna do cool some better walls. lies this time. Okay, yeah, me too. you will lie super hard. That was the warm-up, right? Yeah. This is round one. Yeah, I can't wait to lie super hard to everyone. For everybody you fool. The dog cologne apparently smells of coastal walks, tree. so now you know. Oh. How can it smell of Like walks? Sea, so, salty sea air or something. Oh, okay. It's right, better Mike. than stinky dog. Uh, <laughs> our elders. Oh, all right. I know what that means. Really. I know what it means, but like, I don't know what the question is. In terms of the question. In May 2022, the New York State Office for the Aging rolled out an uncanny project that offered 800 senior citizens a free... Blank. Mm. All right. Well, it's uncanny, whatever. Oh, Andy, Flintenstein in the chat says the new Mom Can't Cook is so good. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank that's you, Mom yeah. Can't Cook, which is Andy and Luke's podcast. Speaking of side hustles. Mm. Hmm. Yes, this week's one is about Xenon Girl of the 21st Century, <laughs> which is a sci-fi decom about a girl who lives on a space station. And is named after a noble gas. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, I can't describe right. it. Just listen to the, the podcast. Truth. <laughs> Free X-Men comic. <laughs> That's really good. It's a mm. life uh, alert button. Is that like one of those things where if you fall over and you press it? Like yeah, it. you wear it around your neck, don't you? Got it. In case you have a fall. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. Okay, what everybody I like this because I feel like we're learning as well. Hmm. Hmm. I learned about the Queen today. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I got you, audience, with my... Bit, it's a bit... With my lies. A bit rude. I mean, this is the same... <laughs> the same joke, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is it? Yeah! Yeah! I figure it's got to be like a helper robot. Yeah, right? like, oh. to pick up their slippers and deliver them to them or whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's a loneliness robot. It's a sex robot. That means there are 800 <laughs> robots roaming New York City yeah. Oh, yeah. right now. Yeah, just waiting to strike. <laughs> uh, I thought people would go for the X-Men comic because of the uncanny thing. I put a like on it, Andy, because yeah. it was very, it was very okay. good. Okay, choose was category. Fun. Bottoms Ooh. up. I don't know what I'm going for. Someone in the chat, Sabrina, says coffins do cost a lot, though, and it's yeah. true. Just bury me in a cardboard box. Someone tweeted that, they were like, just bury me loose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fun way of saying coffinless. Submit your lies now. Oh, more comic books, Andy. 1990, yeah, I picked the category. Oh, right. In 1993, a Dark Horse comic book crossover finally answered the age-old question, what if Godzilla what if? fought blank? Oh, there's so many good age-old questions about Godzilla mm. fighting things. If only Luke were here. Mm. No. I'm trying to think what Dark Horse had the rights to back in the Yeah, because it can't be Superman or Batman. Who's, who's a Dark Horse uh, comic book? Black Beauty? Oh, comic book. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, I'm not going to Google Dark Horse properties. No, I'm just that's cheating. going to wing it. Yes. They had the um, Aliens license back in the 90s. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Also, I think they did Star Trek The Next Generation comics as well. Just realised my guy has feet, and that's not his Spot neck. The truth. What? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Charles Barkley. Barkley. I mean, Dracula is public Barkley. domain, right? Is Dracula... No, Dracula's at Universal, I guess. 
like movie monster stuff. Well, the book, the the book mis- Dracula is yeah. in the public domain, I think. Yeah. The mismatch in scale would be outrageous. <laughs> in all it? of these, yeah. But let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. ah, Andy, you got us. You got us all. Yeah, I got you good. You got us good with Dracula. Got you all good. I thought you'd gone for Ellen. I thought Andy's lie was Ellen Ripley because Andy knows that the Aliens comics are Dark mm. Horse, right? Andy thinks it's Charles Barkley. Oh, Whoa! yes! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a total what? guess, but it's the sort of nonsense that <laughs> they would put in a comic. Hang on, I'm searching Charles Barkley versus <laughs> Godzilla, Godzilla now. It's all that kind of Harlem Globetrotters meet the Scooby Doo gang kind of. Whoa! Oh my! You, uh, everyone go search the cover right, up for Godzilla it. versus Charles Barkley because it is the raddest cover up. Is he dunking on Godzilla? He's dunking on Godzilla. They are the same size, everybody. Oh my god! Look at that cover up. Oh, that's that is, amazing. That's, that's that is, finest... How do I get that as a poster? <laughs> yeah, how do I get that as a tattoo? Oh, it's based off so a night commercial. Oh, we're supposed to be it's watching extreme. something, by the way. Cool. Sorry, yeah, we're supposed to be watching a movie right now. Oh, yeah. The Diddlebuck. The Diddlebuck. The Diddlebuck. Ain't he wonderful? Me. Here's to innocence. What? Lovely. Just like Delbert. What was that yelling? What am I what? watching? Here's something just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is The Sin of Harold Diddlebock. The sin Harold commits is partying a little too hard and waking up in possession of blank. Okay. 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 Uh, waking up in possession of... Uh... Gosh. I really want to watch this movie. It's probably now, public domain, Mike. You can watch it yeah, via stream. If yeah, it's horror. Okay, we've got a baby demon, a monkey's paw, a dog ghost, a lively ferret, or a circus. A circus. 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 <laughs> well. All right. Well, well, I've well. put my vote in. I've no idea. No idea. I mean, which of these would make the best movie? Can anyone hear the entire field full of geese that are going berserk in the field out there? You have a field full of geese? Yeah. Your own flock of geese. I think they're like migrating or something. <laughs> Mike's estate. Andy. Oh, Andy, you got us good again. Gotcha good. The field doesn't belong to me, Jane. Roasted and toasted. Okay. Oh, no one's going for Jane's dog ghost. A dog ghost. Well, what is it then? Oh, does he have a ferret up one trouser <laughs> or something? Oh no. That's why I imagine that's why I, I imagined he was fooled. Right. Fooled. This is gonna be right. It won't be a monkey's ball. Where the how in heaven did I yeah. ever get a circus? Why was but he that screeching? That doesn't explain then? why he's screaming, no. <laughs> the circus has gone up his leg. Then I around in this. I feel like that was a misleading clip. Uh because the screaming had nothing to do with the circus. Exactly. Why is he screaming? Will we ever know? Man. Why did he yell, says Shy Violet, in exactly. all caps? Exactly. And he's pulling ahead <laughs> on those Shannon scores. Bennett says, a whole ass circus? <laughs> <laughs> I love these dancing trousered fish. Mm. Where all the points are doubled. Joe Correa says, God tier Chicago gangster accent from What's earlier. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, Franco Fry gifted five outside Xbox memberships. Appreciate it. Oh, and Chris Gummett so. says, apparently there was a night commercial with Barkley and Godzilla. Unclear who inspired who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my category. Um, oh, no. I think I left it too long and now we're getting a random one. But luckily that's a, it's, crime. that's a crime, which is what I would have chosen anyway. It's a question mark. That's a crime. That's a crime. In 2022, two women from Clearwater, Florida faced unusual felony charges after attacking a man in his apartment with blank. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. This is one of those Florida stories, is it? Yeah, Florida man. Florida women. Florida women this time. Okay. Um, if you want to play, if you want to try and trick us, go to jackbox.tv and enter the room code XEDH. That's for extreme, extreme, dextreme, extreme. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay. All right. Andy really working on that. All right. Where's the truth? <laughs> okay, we've got a cardboard dog, the bounty hunter standee, an alligator, glitter, his own prosthetic leg, or pool toys. These are all so, so plausible. Yeah, so <laughs> believable. In fact, who's to say they didn't all happen in different on different occasions? <laughs> Come on, show me what you picked. Nope. All right, Mike and I think pool toys. Oh, oh, the audience, the audience the roasted. Audience, how do you do that? So roasted good. Roasted and toasted. <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> nice one. That was so plausible. Yeah. <laughs> Is it glitter? Is it actually it's, glitter? It's glitter. Oh, they threw Whoa. glitter in his face. Okay. Okay. I guess it's like shiny mace if you yeah. hit someone in the hard enough with glitter. I'm sure it's extremely unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Get it in your eyes. Horrible. Yeah. I thought the specificity of dogs are dog bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, it's like pocket sand. You just throw it in their eyes. Yes, so yeah. if you, you could just carry a pocket full of glitter around. During yeah. Isaac Newton's time as a member uh, during Isaac Newton's time as a member of Parliament, he uttered only one sentence ever. ever. He asked, he asked a, nearby a nearby usher to. to blank, right so, in it, so blank. whenever he was serving as a member of Parliament, he was silent yeah. except on one occasion. Weird guy. Yeah. He asked a nearby usher to. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to pop the colour. <laughs> <laughs> um. And that usher grew up to be Usher Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. There you go. Find the truth. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Do they have windows in the in the Maybe they used to. I don't know. Maybe. Pull his finger is a very Benjamin Franklin sort of answer. Yeah, if it were yes. Franklin, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, for sure it's that. One. <laughs> okay, what everybody pick? No, yeah. that's a good one. Oh, plausible. That is a thing an usher might do for someone. Mm, like at the Oscars. Fill the seat. Ah, oh, yeah. Andy. You really caught the character of Isaac Newton. <laughs> Isaac Newton. Confused yeah. man. Was it close the window then? Oh, man. Hey, it was. The one issue nice. Newton couldn't ignore Seemed plausible. Was how it was cold. Cold in there. Dang. It's easier to be a politician than I thought. I thought it was quite easy to be honest. Oh, I was going to say is is F off Mike, yeah. <laughs> yes, I just thought it'd be funny. The image of Isaac Newton coming up to F off. Excuse me. Just sort of, <laughs> can you please? Excuse me, come over here. Yes. I, in, I invented gravity. Yes. <laughs> Would you mind effing off? Uh, all right, okay. okay. And here we go. choose something Dang. good. Secret societies, dang. Yeah. It's got to be. Cruel inventions. No, I picked secret societies. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Russia tried something in 1989 when it gave, so it gave 17 submarines, submarines to a certain organization, organization to, encourage to encourage them to conduct them to business. Conduct business in I know the, the answer to this is. Oh, oh, I know this. I do know this. Yeah, it's that thing that you, yeah. you know about. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what this is. I feel really left out. I have heard of this. Hmm, a certain organization. Mm -hmm. and this was eighty nine. Um, I have heard about this. Okay, here you go. Ha. Okay. What's Disney going to do with 17 submarines? I mean, what are any of these people going to do with 17 submarines? Madonna to yeah. <laughs> take over the Eastern Seaboard. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm, let's see what you picked. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, Mike. You got me. Is it actually Pepsi then? I feel like it might be Pepsi then. Yeah. I've heard of this. Wow. What did Pepsi do with 17 submarines? They were like so, collateral, sort of. You know, like yeah. the USSR couldn't pay them to... to... Naval fleet in the world. So right. Coca I think Coca-Cola were boycotting the USSR. And, so and they were like, we'll the, give you they submarines. Want, they off, went to Pepsi with an offer and said, look, we'll yeah. give you a load of this military hardware to come right. and do your drink in, in the USSR. Ah, okay. Behind the Iron Curtain, so on and so forth. But then oh. that meant that Pe Pepsi became the... I think the sixth largest naval fleet in the world. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Were they a nuclear? Was Pepsi briefly a nuclear power? I don't know. Were they nuclear know. powered submarines? Maybe. I don't know. Don't blow it. I mean, they didn't have a nuclear. Okay. Anyone want to go pronouncing this? No. I mean, the dude said it, but I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Celine Dion Drake, Drake did not get a tattoo of blank. Now you're gonna write one lie huh. that sounds like it might fit in either Hard to imagine an, into, an, an exchange between Celine Dion and Drake, That's really. The chance to fool your fellow players. <laughs> Make it good, and it might get picked for both blanks. And mm, is Drake well, Canadian as well? Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was so like a meeting of Tor Canadian Tor and Toronto, Toronto, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Something that works for both of these. But IRL, they, they don't have the same answer. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is really tricky. Time's halfway gone. Better hurry it up. Hmm. John Sansker in the chat says the submarines were outdated diesel types, so not a threat, but still the US government were not okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story so much. There's also like an advert where Pepsi okay, here promised to give choices. away like a fighter jet. So I think it wasn't just submarines, was it? It was like a bunch truths. of military so hardware. So for now, Dang. just pay attention to this one. Pick the truth for just this question now. It does feel like only Celine Dion would be... Mm. An appropriate thing for Celine Dion to ask Drake not to have tattooed on him. <laughs> Anything else would be begging as well, right? I mean, begging. yeah. Uh... Mm, actually, I regret now. I clicked an Let's answer, and I feel like question. I should have picked a different answer. Guess the truth for just this question now. Okay. Hmm. What does the Hyewon Healing Center help Koreans experience? Her face thing. <laughs> I think oh, their own funeral sounds watch. fun. Like that would be. Well, that no would one gets an interesting. No experience. one gets to be, to be there. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. We, did, we all did it. Well done, everybody. Yeah. It's like that Futurama where Bender is in the coffin. Yeah. Like, louder and sadder. <laughs> louder and sadder. Okay, we all got, well, some of us got her face right also. Beautiful faces. Yeah. But that's not did, a lie did that, that that's not a lie that would have worked for both, right? No, the truth doesn't, 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 the the truth truth doesn't work for both. But like, you can have a truth in there. Andy, well done. Plausible. Yeah. Andy is Andy. now the greatest liar. Yeah. I turned He's it not up. trustworthy now, Andy. That's right. Andy. Yeah. Can't believe a single word he says. A couple of snakes, you and I, James. Mm. I'm just and too Mike, honest. I'm too honest for this game. Sweet summer child, Mike, knows only the truth. What can I say? <laughs> Let's have a look at the awards. Andy okay. winner. Miss Congeniality. Also Andy. Hey, hey! Brilliant. I'm Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Best lie. Dracula. Dracula was the best lie. Dracula is the best lie. Another one for Andy. <laughs> oh, sweet summer oh, child. Oh, Jane, Actually, you sweet Jane summer child. Time. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he complained it. the whole time. We're just guessing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's true as well. Oh, how did you know, game? <laughs> okay, this game's psychic. Dang. I'm not sure. Mike's the worst this. liar. Yeah. Whoa, that's some technology <laughs> yeah. you have there, Jackbox yeah. Games. Okay, AWM Perry in the chat says, "Any chance of a happy birthday for my son, the Frog, who's 11 today? Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, the Frog! The frog. Happy birthday, the Frog! Hope you have a great 11th birthday, whether you're a frog or a person." Whatever you're up to, or both, eating players. eating flies, oh, relaxing on a lily pad, yeah, <laughs> sitting on a speckled log, yeah, playing Fortnite. Fine. 
Oh, uh, good. All right, Mike, you need to win one. So let's. All right, now, now it's Mike's turn. So step it up is what you're saying. Be the liar. <laughs> yeah. So the key is, Mike, you need to you need to say a lie. I I think my lies are okay. Like I get decent like return on the lies. I think I'm just bad at identifying the truth. Like I said, I'm like a credulous idiot, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've often said it. <laughs> you credulous idiot. Yeah. Yeah. How's the Discord doing? Wreck says Mike is hustling until he pulls off a massive victory. <laughs> What's oh, the point? Let's in... make it interesting. If I could pull let's off a massive victory, I would, pull, this I, would, time. I would pull off a massive victory in all three of the things. Yeah, but if you're hustling us, you, know you want to play for real stakes. Okay, in summer of 2018, Nabisco released a new snack that was not for Western palates, although it sounds pretty American to me blank flavored Oreos. Okay, interesting. Is Nabisco the company that makes Oreos? I thought it was yeah, weird. Yeah. It'd be weird for them to release Oreos if they weren't the company <laughs> that makes Oreos. Possibly law breaking. Um, Giuseppe Correa in the chat says, Andy, I heard you have three older siblings named ABC. So when your parents would introduce you to their friends, they would say, here is ABC and D. Ah. <laughs> that, that is a terrible dad joke. Speaking as a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, this is I mean, okay. difficult. They're definitely only, not putting out gasoline flavored Only Oreos. one of these sounds delicious and it's pancake. Maybe Mountain Dew. But Mountain Dew isn't made by Nabisco, so that would be a weird crossover. Mm, how do you know that? I Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are all made by right. Nabisco. Maybe Nabisco is like a giant umbrella yeah, corporation. Like a shell corporation. Yeah. Oh, I got fooled oh, by Jane. Oh, yeah, you Again. did. Again. Because Oreos look a little bit like a little hamburger. They do, don't they? Is it pancake? Oh, no. I thought more people would go for that. It sounds but, too, sounds too delicious. Fine for Western palates, isn't it? It is yes. the hot chicken Sam. wing. I would eat right. a hot chicken wing Oreo, absolutely. Let's okay. have a look at the packaging. What do they look like? Chicken wing Oreos. This image search is nowhere near oh. as good as the Charles Barkley Godzilla one. No. Yeah. Spicy though. Uh, wasabi Oreo as well. Wasabi might work okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, whoever liked gasoline. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> What's our next category? Whoa. There's a limited edition Mew from Pokemon Oreo on eBay for £324. Finally, we know what Mew tastes like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I know how you always wanted to oh, consume Mew from Pokemon. Sweet deal. That's sort of the um, Detective Pikachu sort of. No oh! Money, no problem. The Shoot. It's the been a long time since I've seen... One kilogram of their signature gummy bears in exchange for five kilograms of blank. Five kilograms of blank. Okay, what does the Haribo five. factory need five kilograms of? Weren't you just at the Haribo factory, mate? Yeah, it's really close to where I grew up, in a place called Pontefract. But I don't recall there being a any kind of like amnesty trading sort of thing. Mm. So, um... <laughs> Are you amusing yourself, Andy? I am. <laughs> okay, which one's true? <laughs> Is it hair? Is that what you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Is it money? <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that wasn't. That was only half the time. I think we all feel confident. 20% of the audience. Was fools. The idea was like fools getting it off the mic. streets, right? right? Oh, like it's at a knife exchange or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Oh, damn, yes, Jane. Yes, good yes, good yes, answer. Yes. To be honest, that's a pretty hostile thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Like taking away fresh fruit. Oh, I'm at eight. Wow, right. okay. The offer began in 19. I just really made myself laugh with the idea of five kilograms of money. <laughs> like not not an amount of money, but five kilos of money. I um I was shopping at the Haribo store for um they sell three kilo bags of like stuff for a friend who was obsessed with Haribo. So she I video called her and was like, which three kilo bags of uh, Haribo do you want? We, and it, we do not know why Haribo wanted all those acorns. We may never know. It's probably like a fun promotion, isn't it, for kids in autumn? It's like, well, pick up a load of acorns and we'll... Or it's run by squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's the squirrel Illuminati that runs Haribo. Mm. Uh, Killjoy695 says, Mountain Dew is made by the Pepsi company, so it all comes full circle. Ah, so that would have worked. Yeah. That's what they used to power nuclear submarines. I want you to come to New York <laughs> yeah. with me. Just pour it in the back. Okay, another movie. The whole town will take you to its heart. 
You'll have everything you've ever dreamed of, and you'll have it on a silver platter. You'll be like Aladdin with the magic lamp to rub. Yeah. It's Seems to be. It's an odd excuse for a party, but this woman is being offered an all-expenses-paid trip to New York to celebrate her blank. To celebrate her blank. Enter your lies now. Hmm. She looks sort of confused, doesn't she? Hmm. Okay. She looks famous, though. She looks like a famous actress. I put it in an answer, and they told me it's too close to the truth. Really? I have to pick something, have to pick oh, something you else. Oh, be, you must be the first first person to do that mm. this entire stream. Mm -hmm. I've not seen that message before. But I was wondering about uh, what it might be. Interesting that the game will keep you from putting the actual truth in. Well, it has to, I guess. But it gives Andy an advantage, right? Okay. Mm. Yes, yes, truth. true. Huh. Interesting. I'm trying to work out, I'm now, now trying to reverse engineer what Andy could have typed. <laughs> any to one the of truth. these things. Yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't have let on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it shook out. Okay. Total amnesia. No. Shame, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that wily gotcha. Douglas. Gotcha again. No. Oh. But I got you. <laughs> oh, oh no. Reciprocal gettings. Got each other. The trick is that's uh, not a an odd excuse for a party. <laughs> Most knows the radium poisoning is incurable, so no way! Mm. What the heck? What did you write, Andy? I wrote death. Oh. And they said, oh, it's too close. Doomed, Doomed girl, girl hail Bellevue. Oh, wow. If she's, that is should you all be standing so close to her if she's got radiation poisoning? And not die. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That radium stuff is bleak as hell. If you What a movie. Like yeah. I'm lagging. He's come up with some more plausible lies. It's the fish trousers. Oh, okay, here we go. Round now things two. are getting. When you see trousers on fish. Talking of items, strange items of clothing. I went to Primark yesterday and bought some of the Primark Ooh. Cross Greg's, uh, the baker. Okay. Items of clothing, <laughs> including, okay. including some box shorts that have like sausage rolls printed on them. So. Why did you do? Why did why you do that? Why would you do such a thing? Because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of bad ideas, mm. here's bad ideas. Bad After bad press in 2005, Fox cancelled the reality show where women could win $100,000 if they correctly identified. Oh, this is going to be something in terrible taste. Yeah, it really is. This is 2005. This <laughs> yeah. is like the height of bad taste. It's going to be like eye, late eye reality TV the... yeah. show. Oh, God. This is going to sound like a 30 Rock like made up reality TV show. <laughs> it's not going to be... Um... I think there was a show, wasn't there, called There's Something About Miriam or something like that? Right. It's like a, a sort of terrible, like... Trans panic sort of like, oh, no. exploitative. Yeah. What? Oh no! Wow, that sounds weird. Thing. That could be this. That could be this. Okay. Damn. It needs to be a reality show that was had such bad press though that it didn't even get off the ground. So not something that we've actually. Well, it could have been cancelled. Oh, I suppose cancelled after a season or two seasons. Hmm. Killjoy six nine five says, "Is it Come gay, on, straight, or taken?" Which I guess was a reality. Show. Oh wow. There's three answers that are basically oh, yeah. the same. Well, yeah, it's got I, to be I, one of those then, hasn't I, it? I wrote something that was too close to the truth, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so bleak. Okay, mm. okay the audience. Mine sounds positively wholesome now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I can't see why you would cancel that. Yeah. Is it biological it's fathers? It's the truth, yeah. Wow. I wrote their own fathers. I wrote oh, their own, their wow. real parents. <laughs> That's a, bl a bleak ass reality yeah. show. What was right. it called though? 2005, cancelled show. 
Identify. It's probably called Who's Your Daddy, isn't it? It's called Who's Your Daddy, yeah. Oh. yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. the second coming of Christ. All right, type in your lies. Uh, headline from Gawker. Is this blank the second coming of Christ? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's Gawker. Surely Gawker wasn't being serious. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, how hard is it to to lie about this? I've got to think of something plausible. Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I'm losing. Because I'm mm. always the first to answer and it's really rubbish. <laughs> is this skull with cat paws? The <laughs> coming of Christ? <laughs> Could well be. Pick the truth. Mm. Hmm. Bit of a spectrum there. Yeah. <laughs> no. No idea. No idea. I mean. <laughs> Again. All right. As soon as. Moment as soon as truth. we get the true answer, we'll have to Google the headline. Oh, Was it is the this James? Damn no, you, audience! No. Damn you! Whoa, Smart audience! Audience! Cleaning up. I imagine I like fully... a, a crab with like a Jesus on it. I would fully follow a Jesus crab to the ends of the earth. So I guess it was the high school janitor. No, no, that no. was Lassie's lie. What the heck? It's gotta was... be the cronut. It's gotta Babe, be the cronut. Baby hippo, surely. <laughs> that was my lie. No. no. How is it the baby, baby hippo? Baby hippo. Jesus would uh, never be a baby hippo. It. That is bizarre. All right, okay, everyone, let's search the headline. For Jesus, baby hippo. So, is is this a, a holy, holy hippo? Oh, so a, a, a hippo had a baby when the hippo should not have been able to have a baby. Right. Okay. Therefore, baby hippo is second coming of That's Christ. That's how it works. Okay. That's Immaculate how it hippo works. conception, yeah. I put Cronut because I was like, Gawker's like a New York a gossip category. site, isn't it? So they're probably just thinking about, like, you know, snacks on Bleecker Street or something. Yes. Uh, JD Correa says, My mother asked me if I would like to know who was named Sexiest Man of the Year. I told her if Mike Channel is not on the cover, then it's just Second Sexiest Man of the Year. Wow. I mean, thank oh, you. That's yes. very, very kind. About a big win. <laughs> and totally <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> it's the Greg's <laughs> outfit, I think. Yeah, probably. <laughs> James Parkinson struck gold in 1786 when he entered a very specific raffle and won his very own gold. <laughs> um, in the chat, Cam Jan Ninja says, Is it too early to talk Hello Stream? If not, I'd like to opt to nominate Observation, Cosmic Space Horror Done Right. Not Observer, aka the Rutger Hauer VR experience. Anyway, oh. happy pre Hello month to all. Um, Thank you. I'll have a look at that observation. I don't mm -hmm. know anything about it. We're so, yes, su we suggestions. Will take that into account. Lots of exciting stuff out. Uh, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed looks really cool. Um, Resident Evil Village DLC. Yep. Coming out. Uh, Killer well, Clowns from Outer Space. Yes, coming soon. Uh, Plague Tale Requiem. Okay, these are the choices. Is that scary? I suppose it's scary if you don't like rats. Yeah. Mm. It had some really horrible moments. Yeah. Mm. What the heck is this? Andy, did you put Horse Army? Horse Army uh, feels like an Andy. No. No. I didn't. Mm. Anyway, Horse Army is oh, called a cavalry I, or something, right? I immediately regret not doing Set of False Teeth, because that does sound like a, a raffle prize. Gotcha, 40% of you, I mean, you said before you wrote it that that was what you were going to write. So. Wait, I also I put Goldmine. No. <laughs> but I, only because I wasn't listening to Mike saying he was going to do Goldmine. <laughs> Is it false teeth? Nah. No! That's me. So it's... Andy, I could have sworn you did horse army. No. I guess that's the audience. That's the... Did that? We got it. Maybe. We all got Yay. it. Yay! Right. What was it a museum of? Museum. Natural, natural, natural history. history. Damn. Was, uh, Pretty sweet. I want a natural history museum. museum. Yeah, yeah, can I have the natural history museum? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Josie V in the chat says, watching from Tampa, just came home from prepping to Perth, the perfect way to start. Calm down before the big storm. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Josie V, oh, yeah, all the safe. best. 
Stay Ian's, safe. It's Ian's on the way. Mm. Good luck, JTV. And anyone else who is yeah, yeah. Who's affected. I saw a lot of people out up in Newfoundland, um, sort of like houses washing away and all, mm. all sorts. Of, so I hope everyone's okay. Out there as well. Oh, uh, everyone in the chat is like, the horse army was us. <laughs> Good job, audience. Okay, originating from Royal Edict by Richard II, March 28th is better known as Respect Your Blank Day. Yeah. And in 2021, Barry Kirk showed off his unique home on Instagram, including his blank themed coffin. That's double the chance to fool your mm. fellow players. And if you're like the second for both blanks, tell you what, I'll throw in a bonus. Well. Make sense? I'm giving you some extra time. Huh. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, there are two jokes. My cat is typing this in the chat says penis for both and then Mr. M Binder says vagina in both fields. So you quality really excelled, joking. You really yeah. excelled yeah. yourselves. <laughs> I liked you when you were talking about horse armies. <laughs> um, hmm. Who's Barry Kirk and what kind of themed coffin would a Barry Kirk have? I don't know. You're halfway through your time. Make me proud. Mm. It's a tricky one. Yeah. Someone in the chat. Who is it? Oh, okay, see. these are the choices. These questions. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, Hazel Creek says we'll horse army works for both. First. <laughs> the truth for just this question now. Okay. Originating from a royal edict by Richard II, March 28th is better known as Respect Your What Day. Hmm. 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 Well. Wow. Okay. Which of these things do you insufficiently respect? All of them. Okay, now it's this blank. This is the hardest one so far. <laughs> it's, okay. it's tricky, isn't it? Question now. Okay. In 2021, Barry Kirk showed off his unique home on Instagram, including his something-themed coffin. Not an item you typically have in your home. Hmm. Just lying around. We well, you know, like it's you can get that kiss. Prepared. You can get that kiss casket, can't you? Oh, can themed, you? Themed around the band, kiss. Mm. Yeah, you could just have Let's that line around. Look. Respect your dog day. Dog theme. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, yeah, man's best friend, but also Mike's best lie. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I could have believed that Richard the Second had a respect your horse day. <laughs> yeah, you got to respect your horse. What about respect your mother day? No! It, no, nah, it was a lie. No. It was a Jane Richard lie. Richard hated Roasted his mother. Toasted. Classic Jane lie. Cat? Cats don't need more they respect. They didn't really... Did they they have plenty of respect. Domestic cats in that day? What? Oh, oh respect oh, okay. your cat day? Huh. But is it a bean-themed coffin? Jesus. No! Yeah! Yeah. And what does a bean themed coffin even look like? It's, it's probably like a baked bean beans. thing, isn't it? He's probably an eccentric. Actually, yeah, Barry Kirk is definitely a British person, isn't it? Yeah, and he's Sesame got a wacky babies. collection of baked oh, bean Oh, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Oh, I... Real Oh, it's fan. close. Yes. yes. It, was, it was close. Yes. It's close. You only snuck oh. by through your treachery, Douglas. My treachery. Once again. Treachery I... knows no bounds. Oh. Absolutely suck at lying. The deceiver. The prince of lies. That's what they call me <laughs> and also yeah. the devil. Yeah. Whoa. Rachel in the chat says, Barry Kirk is obsessed with beans. Yeah, seems <laughs> so. And Tiberius says, bean coffin is real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, beans Who's are really going to enjoy that coffin, though? Because it's going to be buried. And you're going to be dead. Born yesterday. I just got the award for born yesterday. Fair. Fair. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go again. All right, Mike. All right, you've got thanks. one more chance. I know. Too honest. To become uh, an Olympic honest. level liar. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo Correa in the chat says, Maroon 5 made an album back in the day called Songs About Jane, yet none of the tracks mentioned a boss tier epic woman. I mean... No. Must have been a different Jane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's than, more. There's more than one. Is there more than one? No. Sam in the Discord says every image on Google of Barry Kirk is nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I've got to know now. Now I've got to know. Stevie right. Chase says 
then Bean Coffin isn't real and cannot hurt you. Oh my god! <laughs> no, why is he so orange? Because he's covered in beans, I guess. Nadachi in the Discord says, now bet all your money so Mike can finally win the hustle. Okay, Mike, yes. you want to make this interesting? Yeah, yeah I want to make it interesting. Let's go. If you want to check out the uh, Discord, by the way, join our Patreon right, at patreon.com yeah, forward slash OX Club. Yeah. And uh, come hang out. It's a good time. An exclusive Discord. All right, pick a category, Mike. I don't know what odds and Jabroni. trends means, but I've chosen it. Harvard student Lothrop, Harvard student Lothrop Withington Jr. Kicks, kicks off a nationwide craze in 1939 after he <laughs> ate a blank on a dare. <laughs> and died. Okay, um, yeah. What's a nationwide student called craze. Lothrop Withington Jr. going to do? What are they going to eat for a dare? Hmm. In 1939, what could what could you eat? Mm. What was around for eating? <laughs> vitamin. <laughs> A new fangled vitamin. Oh boy! Wow. Oh. I think I know this. Okay, what everybody pick? Is it another boot? Oh, no. the audience, what oh, the audience got, got Good you. Good lie, audience. Good lie. Man, you're so good at deceiving me, audience. Is that the truth then? Hey! Uh, it's amazing. Poor goldfish, is. though, hey? Yeah. What a way to go. Damn, Lothrop. You jerk. Swap the nation for years. So oh, that is going to be the next TikTok. Oh, thing, don't tell TikTok. Oh, They'll be all yeah, over yeah. that. <laughs> Eating live goldfish. We're the canary in the coal mine for that TikTok trend because this game isn't even out yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> So it's on us. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Someone, wait, 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 wait. Um, Shay Gray says Barry Kirk has tattooed bean hair on his head, and then lots of oh my crying bean faces. Hair? Like it's drawings beans of beans instead of hair. Oh wow, well, like a Medusa but with beans yeah, it's instead horrible. of snakes. Right. Wonderland Kalka, a German theme park, features a swing ride I know built this inside one. of. Blank. I watched the Tom Scott video about this. Hmm. Okay. What's big enough to build a swing ride inside? Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of good because, like, if you know the answer, you can do a lie that is sort of on a similar theme, I guess. Yeah. Unless it says, this is too close to the real answer. Yeah, if it's that close. I mean, obviously we had that problem with the reality TV show. All right, where's the truth? Okay. Okay, we've got three somewhat similar answers. And I'm going with this one. All right, who picked what? Okay. Yeah, <gasps> we'll the truth. and it is the yeah. truth. Why settle yeah. for Cinderella's castle when you can have okay. Cinderella's? Okay. It's cool. It like goes up and then above the top of the cooling silo. tower, and then you can see out. So is oh, the whole park fun. built on top of the site of a, yep. a nuclear uh, power station? Nuclear power station. Oh. Okay. Fun. Fiberglass bear did really well though. Yeah. Well, be it's the only one that sounds fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Oh, oh there's here we a go. movie round, my favourite. Time for a movie. Can't wait to find out what <laughs> wild stuff <laughs> was in movies in the past. Oh, yeah. Cowboys. Oh, he's hiding his cards. Look at his hat. Size of that guy's hat. You look weak. <laughs> you look Try weak. this. <gasps> Menace escalates. Climactic horns. Oh, oh. get him in the body hole. There's a lot of strange stuff going on in this Western comedy, but the weirdest thing is where it takes place. West of blank. Blank. All right. Okay. Okay. The weirdest thing is where it takes place. Spot the truth. <laughs> okay. 
quite, <laughs> quite a combination. Here. It's horse yeah. like the sequel to horse armor. <laughs> horse <laughs> armor. <laughs> In the chat, Mar Speedsman says, guys, let's impersonate Andy again. I think they're trying to do Andy lies. <laughs> Andy oh, style really? lies. In oh, the chat. Andy style lies. EA122 says, Jane Doug lies more like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, is it weird to be west Come of Jacksonville, on, Florida? I don't know. What is west of Jacksonville, Florida? I don't know. Ah, it, was it was Mike's lie. Was Mike. That was a I Mike just figured lie. it wasn't very west. Like I was oh, like yeah. east coast type stuff. Jackbox is like Jackbox. Oh, line. you're allowed to lie, Jackbox. Damn, Jackbox. Damn, Jackbox. Since when? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, west of no! Hot Dog. No. Little Mustard, the prairie flower from Hot Dog. Oh, look at her there. <laughs> Little look Mustard. Look at that prairie yeah. flower. You're you only half a man. You drive you're me to Hot to Dog. Hot is this a euphemism? I'm, so proud of you all. I'm not sure I'm on board so with this. Right yeah. Wow. Now oh, we got it. Look at that guy's hat and face. Oh, we both put heaven. Ah! Oh, okay. Great I put, minds. I put yeah. hot dog. Right? Did he? No, you Did put you? Jacksonville, Florida. No, oh, our the light. That we, the light. Our answers yeah, yeah, that yeah. we wrote were both heaven. Sorry, I see. Hey, I got confused. Damn, Jane. Yeah. Well, yeah. That wavelength. It yeah. does conflate it if you're. But I guess the person yeah. who writes it first Time gets more points, maybe. Or... All right, hmm. let me pick us a category. ER, receptacles, in memoriam, hygiene or Norway? I'm going to say ER, hoping it's the TV show and not the hospital department. Oh, I love that show. Let's see what we got. Can it be the TV show? No. After a car no. Oh, After a car accident that left her in a two-week coma, Summer Diaz of Los Angeles, was, of Los Angeles was shocked to learn she had left the hospital with now. blank. Hmm. 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 These are all going to be up. This the the right answer is going to be upsetting, isn't it? <laughs> well, we thought uh, that last time, and it wasn't. Well, it was still. Quite all upsetting. right. It was quite upsetting. Hmm. I've done my answer, so I can just dance to the theme music. Good. <laughs> TJ Brumfield says an immaculate hippo baby, <laughs> which is a good callback. Mm. Mm. Oh, the true answer is gigantic hospital bill, says we trash level. There you go. Find the truth. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, I bet it's... Oh, yes, of course. It's, it's got to be an accent, doesn't it? Although a scalp in her chest is truly horrific. <laughs> that. that is horrible. Just like sticking out or inside? I think no, like inside somehow. Inside, probably. Hmm, I have chosen something that I probably will regret. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so which accent was it then? <laughs> Mike went for it. Mike went I for the audience's lie. Audience being very grim. Was it French? No, no. it was Mike's no. lie. So I think it was the New Zealand accent because the New Zealand accent is adorable. Yeah, like Reese Darby or something. Yes. Hey, there you go. Oh man. Well done. I mean. It would be upsetting to suddenly have a new accent, but if it's got to be any accent, a New Zealand one That's is pretty cute, isn't it? strong. Yeah. I have heard of people, yeah, getting accents. Yeah, now that you mention mm. it, so have I. Hey, what a strange it's thing. It's time to laugh at some dead people. Whoa, Jackbox. That was, that was hard. But is it like, if they're bad at accents, is it like a bad New Zealand accent? When he was 25, Julius Caesar, when he was, 25, Julius Caesar was kidnapped by pirates. During his time in captivity, he forced the pirates to increase his ransom, keep quiet while he slept, and blank. Oh. Dang, Julius Caesar. Okay, enter those lies. Hmm.
<laughs> okay, these are the choices. <laughs> okay. Make him a cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he's... Hmm, interesting. I'm amazed about the record of this. Like, with the pirates writing down, this guy's such a jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, not and, fooling anyone with that. Uh, well, it's in the audience. A third, third of the audience. That's not nothing. That's like several hundred people. Yeah. Yeah, Mike's not. Is it his poetry? Yes, his yes. poetry. I bet it's it was basically what well. I wrote. He's like 25. I bet the poetry was bloody awful. Oh, Mike, you did real well there. We agreed to make it interesting, right? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, Texas politics. Well. well, well, well. Tinder date, surely. Surely. Had to Apparently what it is. Here's a good one. After only going on a few dates, Max Sylvie of Brisbane... Okay, after only going on a few dates, Max Sylvie of Brisbane, Australia, went viral match, for joining his Tinder match while she blank. blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay. Okay. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. All big life events. Mm. There. Oh, I could see. I could see all of those being oh, a story. Mm. It certainly would be. Nearly a third of the audience went for Mike's lie of brain oh. surgery. That would be sweet if you went on yeah, a Tinder date. Lovely, yeah, to yeah. Look you after just them. Met her. Yeah. This better be the truth. Hey, it yeah. is. Call me old fashioned. Did anyone else put that's more like gave birth as their guess and then was told not to? No, no did, did you? you? I did. Oh. There you go. I thought it might be quite funny if they <laughs> he was there <laughs> while she got married. Yeah. <laughs> Tell anyone. You'd have to invite them as like the just an just old an friend from an school. Evening, yeah. yeah. Triple points. <laughs> no pressure. An Australian man named Bill Edgar has made a living out of Okay, an Australian man named Bill Edgar has made a living out of professionally Dr. what? Scott Green came and Dr. Scott Green came under investigation for performing surgery, surgery and blank at the same blank time. At the same time. Okay. Now you're going to write one lie that sounds like it might fit in hmm. either of these two blanks. Hmm. That's double the chance to fool your fellow players. Okay. I bet loads of people make a living out of professionally blanks, checking. You know. Yeah, that's basically yeah. everyone's that's, job, isn't it? Yeah. It's like middle feels, management, right? It definitely feels like it sometimes. Described jobs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, here's what you're working with. Our two questions <laughs> have two different truths. First, okay. let's take care of this one. Guess the truth for just this question now. Hmm. Interesting. Which of these can you do while also doing surgery? Let's move on to this question. Find the truth for just this question now. An Australian hmm. man named Bill Edgar has made a living out of professionally. Hmm. I mean, it's not fan. Is it fanfic if you get paid to do it? Is that just fiction? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not yeah, fanfic if, well, I mean, if you're not commissioned by the people who made Lost. Let's yeah. Everybody picks. Fifty Shades, right? That's professional. Oh, yeah, kind of. 
Kind of. Oh, come yes. on! Oh. Yes, just, 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 just. That's the only one I can think of that you could do while performing surgery. Yeah, me too. That Apart from the one I read. Oh, oh well. Mike, you got me! <laughs> gotcha. But then what is the... What is the... Oh, hey. okay. Andy, that was that was very convincing. Did any of us get any of them right? I'm so confused. I thought that he could he was defend himself, himself in court. In court. Yeah, oh, like, he, he was, was Skyping that. at the same time and like Whoa. Yes! No, you can't get paid to crash a funeral. Well, maybe he started crashing funerals and then, like, he got paid to show up at funerals, right? Oh, like a professional mm. mourner. Everything went fine, so Bill's services were not needed. Okay. I didn't think you were allowed to defend yourself in court virtually. I don't know, maybe. No, apparently maybe. you can. Hey, Mike won. I finally yeah, won one. Mike. Finally. Pay up. Yay. Pay up. Mike is a fabulous liar. <laughs> I was lying about being bad at this. <laughs> no. Audience well done, four. Mike. It'll do. Thank you. Well done, Mike. All done. Let's have a look at the awards. There's Mike, the kind of bat frog winner, bat toad. Yeah. And I got Miss Oh, Miss Congeniality for James. Cleaning up. No, for Mike there. And best, best life. life. Whoa, Mike cleaned up. Yeah. He's a learning computer. Mm. Most Andy, trusting. most trusting. I just trust everyone, you know. I just want everyone to. Jane, just okay, admit it. Whoa. That's devastating. You devastated mean, me. But I also fooled the viewers. I'm glad that someone. I'm glad someone you know, <laughs> had the, the courage to say it. You know, Thanks, fibbage. Oh, fibbage! You're leaving me with real self-esteem issues. There. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Absolutely roasted. How are you roasted, feeling? Do we have time by for Box. one more or no time for one more? I could get one more round. Yes. One more deciding round. One more very All quick right. round. One more. Let's do yes. it. Loath Let's... as I am to not end as the winner. Do it. If you're not in the audience for this, you can go to jackbox.tv yeah. and enter room code XEDH to this join the audience for the, the final round. My cat is typing this says, You won fair and true, which is presumably to Mike. And Angel mm. Beat says, Wow, Jane, the game called you basic. Get revenge. <laughs> Damn. All right, I've got to get my revenge on Fibbage now. Oh, and if you're not Barrett Green confirms the doctor was performing surgery audience. while doing a court appearance. The audience votes on their Zoom own. court yeah, appearance. That is amazing. Fake out the players. Let's go. Seems like you should probably pay attention to the surgery. Yeah, all the court appearance. Yeah. Maybe this is really easy surgery. <laughs> like, must be, there must be some surgeries that are super... I mean, hopefully not like brain surgery. Like, there must be some easy surgeries. Yeah, what do you just, think the easy surgery is then, Vasectomy, Mike? probably. Oh, no! All right, all right, you get a vasectomy <laughs> with someone who's also on a Zoom call defending themselves in court. And then I'm tell sure us how it goes. about a guy who performed a vasectomy on himself. Like a no, I don't. I haven't not... heard that, nor do I want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, it's then me. Choose a category quickly. Oh, and Mike okay. stops thinking about this. Okay, okay, done. Dinner plan. All right, Jane is. We Jane's have to wrap now. this up because Jane's hungry. Jane's got dinner plans. <laughs> A distinctive but now defunct okay, a distinctive but now defunct restaurant in Truskovets, Ukraine, was shaped and themed like blank. Mm, another themed so restaurant. Mm. Okay, which one? <laughs> Shrek. Oh man, the Shrek meta! It's back. <laughs> it's back in the final game. In the final game. Um but also the submarine meta, right? Oh yeah, that's true. It's a Pepsi themed submarine. Moment of truth. Did I tell you when I was in um LA I saw Shrek's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I saw you took a picture, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Nice. It was a special moment for me. Was it next to Fiona? Did they get a Fiona star as well? No, I'll tell you who it was next to, actually. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a picture. Because imagine being next to Shrek on the Hollywood Walk <laughs> yeah. of Fame. Was it actually a coffin? You'd be livid. Andy, you were Whoa. right. Oh, was I right? Amazing. Who was it? Coffin restaurant. That sounds cool. Because if, if the term coffin appears and Andy hasn't written it himself, then it must be the <laughs> It's probably... Coffin yeah. restaurant Ukraine. I'm looking at it. I'll be, I'm going to be looking at it. Oh! Oh, oh wow. How is it? It, it looks like a real giant pine coffin. With, like, win no windows. Okay, I, mean, I can tell you. It's just shaking a bit like a coffin. 
Shrek is right next to John Hall. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Uh, Roger Ebert's one and a half star pan of the 1999 film Baby The Carpenters he the and Ben Kingsley. Ben oh. Kingsley must be living. So gutted yeah. Ben Kingsley. Gutted. Write your lies now. Uh, in Roger Ebert's 1.5 star pan of the 1990 film Baby Geniuses, he bemoans the fact that the phrase blank is uttered four times in the film. Okay. I, I really need to read this 1.5 star review now. It sounds, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they made a ton of Baby Geniuses films. Yeah. There's like three or four of them. Come on, Jane. Simply write a, oh, a line of dialogue from the film. Baby dialogue Genius. That can appear four or four, four times. Okay. Um, but don't make it too good, otherwise it wouldn't be bemoaned in a review. Yeah. Yeah. True. It's like how. Okay. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> is Baby Genius is one of those '90s films where the babies like have voices and they're like adult voices? I don't know. You okay. tell me. Diaper Gravy is horrible. I mean, <laughs> it's yeah, really awful. That's, that's disgusting. <laughs> We're babies. Oh, I, like that. <laughs> yeah. I like. I think that's good dialogue. That's cute. Baby geniuses. That's cute. Audience, oh, audience, Sandy uh, tricked you. Yeah. It's gonna, it's, it's it's gonna, gonna be, be not be gravy, gravy, isn't gravy. It? Yeah. Oh, Roger oh. Ebert, you were right to be appalled. There's an advert for diapers or nappies that's on yes, billboards at the moment the key, that uses the word punami. And it's, oh. Yeah, that's a, like, it's like a common parenting term for when there's like, so much want... poo that you're just like. I don't want to see that word or think about that concept. <laughs> don't have kids then. <laughs> it becomes. Now, it just springs into your mind immediately when you see certain nappies. Here's the news. So. What's oh. this? What's oh. happening now? What? Well, like headlines. This is a, Suddenly, it's all around. A Jackbox oh. adding things to this game as we play it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we have had this. Baffling headline from BBC. The Cornish beach where blank keeps washing up. Okay. Okay. What's a plausible lie for this? The fact that it's singular, it's like a, like a yeah. substance. Uh. Okay, this isn't uh, this isn't this story, but it reminded me of an amazing story about a beach in France where Garfield novelty telephones have been washing ashore oh, for thirty yeah. years. Yeah. For thirty years, these yeah. like orange Garfield-shaped phones have been washing up. They um, I was talking to Luke about this like the other week about there was also like a spillage of rubber ducks in like the Aww. 70s or maybe the 90s or something like and that they and, keep washing and they used it to work sure. out like tidal like flow because there were yeah. all these ducks like showing up they get distributed places. according to tidal yeah. flows yeah that's cute now, I mean it's probably bad for the, the environment truth? but also cute interesting hmm. interesting hmm. if there were a beach in Cornwall covered in Whiskey, I'd be there in a shop. Yeah, right. I feel like <laughs> I've heard about it. Okay. Also, spaghetti, to be fair. I love spaghetti. Yeah. Is it Lego? Oh, everyone yeah, loves Lego. Yeah, we all got it. There must be um, must be a shipping container full of Lego that like mm, yeah. fell yeah. overboard and sank to the bottom of the ocean. That's cool, though. Yeah, free Lego. Yeah. Cornish Beach Lego. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, talk about of... plastic. Plastics polluting the ocean, yeah. that's... I had lots of good answers, but because the keeps was, like, plural... Mm. Ah, you didn't It couldn't fit. be a plural thing, it couldn't be, yeah. like... I don't know, mannequins. Yeah. It couldn't be, like, mannequins keeps no. washing up. What the heck is Mr. Chips? I, is that com a comic? Uh, well, let's find out. The thing, from, oh, no. the thing from the UK TV show Catchphrase, right? Okay, yeah, it's him. Listen up. Mr. Chips goes to uh, Washington. Oh. Oh. Workers found blank in the taters. All right. Type in your lies. What's taters, precious? No. 
this going to mm. ruin French fries for me forever? Probably. Well, no. I'm... Only taste the sauce. Okay, again, yeah. now this has to be a plural because it can't be when workers found spider in the taters. It has to be mm. spiders in the taters. But it could be a spider. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true. A single spider. Time to seek the truth. Oh, wow. Huh. Ah. The teeth one is really unpleasant. Teeth in the taters. I mean, I guess the human toe one is pretty unpleasant, too. A, gr yeah. <laughs> a grenade in the taters. I mean, a grenade is, I guess, the shape of a potato. I'm gonna get hungry for tater tots. I'm gonna go for the one that unsettles me the most, which is teeth. All right, who picked what? Oh, I've absolutely messed this up. <laughs> Jane. Uh -huh. oh, Jane. Well, but Jane, that is that's a. When I said it's really story. unsettling, I should have known it was Jane's. A teeth at the centre, right. a tooth at the centre of every tot. Ah, but Andy got Jane, so. Oh, you did get we me. We call them toothy tots. Was it a human Twenty-four percent of the audience. No, so we're all fools. We're all been fooled. Hmm. Well, it can't I, be a grenade. Now, I, can I it? guessed a grenade because they're potato shaped. Whoa. Yes. Wow. There you go. How did a grenade get in there? I don't know. Maybe it was in the field and they dug it up. Does that makes sense. That sort of, in a weird way, makes sense. Oh, because it because like a grenade's the same size as a potato, yeah, so it kind of got sorted yeah. in. And with they the all potatoes. just like dug it up along with the potatoes, and then. Oh. Oh, fibbage fan fact. Why are we getting new bits of this okay, game in our like yeah. fifth round? I don't know. Have people submitted videos of themselves doing a I'm fact? Yeah, they have. Hi, Shane. It's Shane from Hillsdale, New Jersey. Hey, Shane. Oh, Shane's a YouTuber. Shane is a, a wow. Viral trend I was challenged to do a viral blank. trend by blank. Hmm. Weird. Oh, okay. Shane was challenged to do a viral trend by blank. So we're not guessing what the trend was, but... Well, it might have been challenged? that Ice Bucket Challenge, but he got... Uh, he got nominated by someone weird. Or famous? You know, like famous or, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I thought you nominated like your friends when it was. Yeah, but if like this famous person watches this YouTuber randomly, ah. like they might ah, be like, oh, yes. I really like this YouTuber. I'm going to nominate them. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I get it. I, I see. Spot the truth. Oh, wow. Good, these... some good, some good lies here. Yeah. Which of these notable celebrities watches Shane, the YouTuber yeah. from Hill, Hillsdale, New Jersey? I have no idea which one this is, so I've just clicked on. Okay, what everybody pick? Okay, it's wrong, but it does totally seem like something he would do. Mm. Wasn't it Kanye who just followed one person on Twitter and then said, yeah. like, "Entertain me now"? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, I got some of the audience, Damon. but not anyone else. Mm. Who was it then? Was Cookie, it Monster? Cookie Monster? Was it? Cookie Monster. Damn, it was Cookie Monster. Whoa, Cookie Monster! I was mistaken for a Sesame Street employee. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that is right, buddy. That is. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. All right. But yeah, it was, was the, it was the ice up. bucket challenge, right? Yeah, it was. It literally was. Wow, Jane pulling ahead uh, with that Kanye West. Yeah. Good lie. Solid you see, the thing with Very viral good. challenges now is that you don't really nominate people to do them. People just do them of their own accord. Yeah. You know, like, I nominate um, Andy to do the Hyde Pod eating Well, obviously, challenge. my special subject is French, French grindcore. Grind so. I don't know what French grindcore is. <laughs> if you loved punk music in Moriac, France... Okay, if you love punk music in Moriac, sure, France, who chances are you met Biquette, who is a legend of the grindcore scene, well, also while also being... Blank. Okay. okay. Enter those lies. While also being. Made of charcoal and going on a barbecue. <laughs> That's a briquette. Right. You know it. Oh, you're right. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. Biquette is like an animal name, isn't it? 
is it? Oh. Uh, it looks like it. Oh man. You've got some points. It. It that's what I that's what I wrote. Oh You're... Andy and oh, okay. Andy and Mike did. Well, that was weird. You're both getting points off huh. me. Mm, good. Ah, uh, oh, you no, audience. Nope. audience. Nope. One of James' clever, classic. Clever audience. Well done, audience. Okay, well, I, I was fooled by this. So this is Jane. You Good got job. It. Oh, no. No, I've got a horse. Tobacco, a goat is more French, I think. Mm. Mm. Yes, you're right. You're probably right. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> there are horses in France. <laughs> they do have horses. Yeah. Can't believe we both said the mayor. It's kind of plausible though, right? Like they're the mayor yeah. of a small town, but also He's they're also a grind call legend. Yeah. This is the final fibbage. It's oh, two the, two the final fibbage. Giving out triple points. 90 speaker she says, now someone explain what grind core is. <laughs> Never. The cat is such a good goat name. Cute, isn't it? The New York City business Serendipity 3 is home to the world's most expensive blank. King Charles II suffered a seizure and was given king drops, which was medicine made from blank. Now you're going to write one lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two blanks. Weird. That's double the chance to fool your fellow players. Rainwater would have been really good. can't do that one. Got all that? I'll give you a little extra time on this one, so don't freak out. Okay. Here are your choices. These questions have two Man, different Man, I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hungry for skulls. Hungry for human skulls. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Hmm. Uh, right, first answer. King Charles, King Drops. Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Um... Time to deal with this one. Guess the truth for just this question now. Okay. Okay. I cannot tell you what a business that's called Serendipity 3 actually mm. does. Yeah, right. And what happened to Serendipity 2 and 1? It's yeah. unlikely to be the world's most expensive human skulls, I will say. Yes. Oh, oh, Jane! Oh, I, got some, I don't know you why I double deceived. Twice, yeah. Double deceived. Like, oh god, the audience is cleaning up off of me. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Jane. No, Jane. Oh, and I also very specific, double very specific. Very double deception truffle. on the audience. Yeah. All about the specificity. If I can leave you with only one piece of advice for today, lying is all about the specificity. Oh, dang. Oh, Hold Andy. On. Most expensive the... French fries. Did you know that? No, but it just seemed like the sort of thing they would have in a New York, red, like a restaurant, right? Okay, I guess. Hey, oh, I got that right too. You nailed it. Well ah, done. Ah, well done, Andy. Did you Good know job. Human skulls are significantly I think because if Serendipity 3 is a restaurant, the word business made me think it was like, I don't know, a sort of investment fund or... But if they said re restaurant, you'd be like... You oh, would have... Oh, yeah, restaurant. that's true. It's home to the most true. expensive something, so it's a... Yeah. I was like, it's probably a food thing, isn't it? Because yeah. it's always like, oh, we've got the most expensive milkshake or hamburger yes. or, or something. The audience did really well. Damn. Damn, the audience. Midwest. Well done. Let's see the awards. Well done, and Andy. This up. Well done. Yeah. I'm going to look up Serendipity 3 really quick. Serendipity... <laughs> no one was liking much in that round. Oh, yeah, Jane true. No. Most You're all likely working more. too hard. Good lie, though. Can okay. Did you say you were hungry, Andy? I, well, I am, yes. Serendipity 3, an NYC original, the home of amazing food and decadent desserts such as the world-famous frozen hot chocolate. Oh Serendipity God. 3 restaurant has been uh, captivating millions of patrons since its in inception. But nothing about the world's most expensive. How much are the French fries? I can okay. Let me tell you about the French fries at Serendipity 3. Guinness okay. World Records. 
This is what the world's most expensive french world's fries taste like. Fries. $200! <laughs> <laughs> okay, they've got uh, tartuffalo and black summer truffles. Okay, so he's got so truffles. You put, you put black truffle as your lie. Yeah. yeah. These are like truffle fries, basically. Really expensive truffle fries. I love truffle fries. Oh, my God. You know oh, and gold. Have... Edible gold dust. Why? Edible gold dust uh, also. I mean, they look pretty freaking good. I would destroy these fries. Well, on the other <laughs> hand, they do chili cheese fries. How much do they cost? And they're probably only like 10 bucks. Yeah, or exactly. So yeah. you're a mug if you buy this. Okay, next time we're have... in New York, let's all go to Serendipity yeah. 3. We're not spending $200 on fries. No, no, McDon no, we'll... Fries in McDonald's are £1.50. And for they're large. perfectly good. And they're really good. fine. Okay. Yeah, but we could go and order something that doesn't cost two hundred dollars. We could order the frozen hot chocolate. If we've got it, nine, very least nineteen eighty nine says, "I'm about yeah. to order the fries and immediately ask to split the bill." <laughs> <laughs> if we bring if we bring twenty other people, then we only have to pay ten bucks each to try the world. We get one get one fry each. <laughs> Probably not even one fry. Yeah, well, yeah, fry. maybe one fry each. One fry each. All right, that folks. That was fun. What do we have to tell people about? We have uh, the this Friday. This Friday, new episode, new season of Oxventure D and D oh, starting new this Friday season. on the... an entirely new channel. Shot in a studio. It's at YouTube.com/slash Oxventure. In fact, I'm going to put it in the chat right now so you can go there and subscribe yourself. Subscribe. If you're not Ahead already subscribed, the... why don't you love us? Yeah. Um, no, give me you a should brand definitely new go and subscribe if you like our D and D stuff. Though. Emotional blackmail. It's where it's all going to be. I oh, know. Yeah, obviously. It's where all the old D and D videos are. It's where all the new D and D videos are gonna be. Go there, check it out. And that's happening Friday at eight o'clock UK time. So uh, you know, mm -hmm. about this time on Friday. Also, we've got a list, a classic outside Xbox list video that's coming right. up on Thursday. It is about pre-order bonuses. Wait, let me just consult my it's memory. Yeah, pre-order bo bonuses. Weird pre-order bonuses that gave you made not, you totally OP. It's not weird pre-order. It's about <laughs> it's unfair. About, yeah, unfair. Unfair, unfair pre-order pre bonuses, bonuses that people who pre-ordered they got an advantage over everyone else. It's yeah, bad. don't you just hate that? Yeah, yeah. don't you hate that? I Thursday hate that. on Outside Extra, they're going to be doing Souls Academy. Might I think the it's one, the right? last Souls Academy Almost because certainly. they're going to be switching over imminently to Fear Academy because it's the, the scariest month it of is the, the year. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of the scariest month of the year, stay tuned for, for news and updates on Hello Stream, mm -hmm. uh, which is coming very soon. We'll have a program of scary, scary streams and in the last two weeks of October. And we have merch on the store right now. Yeah. If you are getting ready for that. Yeah, yeah. go to store.outsidexbox.com to check out the extremely cool and blood curdling Tales from the Crypt inspired. Yes, mm. Hello, Hello Stream, Stream merch. T shirt and tote bag and poster. Yep. And yeah. if you wanna if you want a podcast, we've got the Oxventure podcast that comes out on Fridays. And yeah. also Luke and I have Mon Can't Cook, a DCOM podcast that yep. you can find wherever you get podcasts. You've got to tell people what DCOMs Mom. are though. Disney Channel original movies. We um apply a level of rigorous uh, scrutiny, analysis yes. and scrutiny to them yes. that they are not able to withstand. You're so, so in the weeds that you don't think DCOM needs to be explained anymore mm. as an acronym. You're, you're so lost. in the we're lost to them. DCOMs. Yeah. Well who yeah. doesn't know DCOMs? You're you're through the looking glass now. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Please do Thanks like and everybody. subscribe and all that stuff as well. And we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.